this is a drinking duck a beautiful toy which is used for uh, decorations it's lot of physics in it it all depends on the heat vapor pressure and all those things you can see these uh, dancing ducks there is a cup in which there is water and the ducks are drinking apparently drinking the water and once they drink the water they become very happy apparently and then they start uh, uh, dancing like that and after some time they again dip in their beaks into the cup as if they are drinking water and the process continues so let's see what is uh, there in it it is made of two bulbs this is a larger bulb at the bottom filled with a chemical called uh, dichloromethane has a very very small boiling point about 46 degrees or so so that liquid is filled here and then you can see this tube this tube in the uh connecting that upper bulb near the mouth and this lower bulb this upper bulb is covered with the cotton or some velvet some kind of uh, cloth and then uh, other things are just for decoration so that is the construction the important thing is when it becomes horizontal then the liquid from the mouth that upper bulb comes through the tube to the lower bulb and it becomes heavy okay you can see whatever liquid is there it comes back the lower side becomes heavy and then uh, it it becomes vertical because of the weight because of that torque it becomes vertical and then it gets some motion and starts oscillating starts oscillating then the oscillations die out uh, with time because of various factors and you can see the liquid rising in the tube that's the most important part when it goes in cup that beak that velvet becomes wet so it evaporates that water there evaporates and that requires cooling once the water there evaporates the air in that uh, bulb near the mouth that smaller bulb that gets cooled the temperature decreases as the temperature decreases in that upper bulb the air there uh, which contains vapor of this uh, dichloromethane the pressure of that vapor also decreases it's all saturated vapor here because it is closed region and you have liquid so it's all saturated vapor and once the temperature goes down then some vapor will condense the pressure there will decrease the pressure in the lower bigger bulb is still high so the liquid rises you can see the rising and once liquid rises and reaches that upper bulb that upper bulb becomes heavy see the liquid is rising and once it it becomes heavy it uh, becomes horizontal it dips and the liquid comes back into that lower belly and then this becomes heavy and then uh, that beak comes out of the cup again the evaporation starts again the pressure here decreases and again the liquid starts rising in the tube and reaching that upper bulb to make that heavy once that becomes heavy again it will dip into the cup so this process continues for uh, any length of time any length of time the liquid will rise because of this pressure difference lower bulb the pressure is still high because the temperature here is high in this bulb it's room temperature generally and the temperature in the upper bulb here is low because of evaporation and hence the liquid rises once it rises that upper part becomes heavy and then it dips so this process continues and you can all enjoy it for weeks and weeks